Hi there, I'm Michael Stennett with the Antique Piano Shop and I'm here to talk about the upright piano today. You'd be hard pressed to think of someone somewhere in your family that doesn't have a piano. Chances are it's going to be an upright. In America there were millions and millions of upright pianos built between the Civil War and the Great Depression era and they're pretty common today. The upright piano was most popular after about 1890. After the Great Depression, the upright piano ceased to exist and made way for the small spinet and console piano that we know today. Upright pianos built between about 1870 and 1925 were absolutely wonderful pianos. They're often called upright grands because an upright piano like this one has a soundboard and string length equivalent to a full-size grand piano. That's a sound you can't get in a small modern console piano today. This piano was built in 1900 by the Lester Piano Company of Philadelphia and it's made of walnut wood. It's built in the Victorian style with beautifully hand carved wood here. We have the pillars, the columns. Everything here was done by hand a hundred years ago. You just can't get that kind of craftsmanship today. At the Antique Piano Shop we restore more antique upright pianos than anyone in the industry. We have clients sending us their heirloom uprights to be restored from all over the country. We have them here from Canada, we have them here from England, we have them here from Asia. It's amazing the pianos that we get sent here to be restored. An upright piano like this one would have cost about $500 in 1900. Can you imagine what $500 would have bought for the common household? You could just about buy a small house for that. After they became popular, upright pianos like this were built by the thousands, tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands by the time the Great Depression hit. Upright pianos are still fairly plentiful today, and the majority of them are of extremely good quality. The conventional piano industry has all but turned its back on the old upright piano like this. They're considered cheap and plentiful, and a lot of people say they're not worth restoration. But there are a lot of upright pianos that are extremely good instruments and well worth restoration. Our mission here at the Antique Piano Shop is to promote awareness for preservation and restoration of these wonderful instruments. We want to see our children and our grandchildren be able to enjoy the pianos that Grandma played. We want to see our children and grandchildren interested in taking piano lessons again. And we want to see our children and grandchildren being able to sit down and actually touch the keys that Grandma played. A lot of our customers ask us if an upright piano is worth the investment for restoration. And what I tell them is that they can go down and buy a brand new piano for a lot more money than it costs to restore their heirloom piano. But in 10 or 20 years, that piano is going to be in deplorable condition because it was built to be a throwaway piano. It's disposable. It's not going to last 100 years. A piano like this will still be around in another 100 years, can be restored again, and can be left for future generations to enjoy. Now, I consider that a good value. 